Okay, so let's go over the answer to this power strategy 2 question. So let's have a look at the chart. So we've got this strategy 2 chart here. First things first, let's have a look at it. What are we noticing about price? What are we noticing about the MAs? Well, we've got a trend up. Price is trending up. MAs are trending up. They're in the right direction. What are we actually looking for here? What would we be looking for? We want to go with price. We want to go with the MAs. We want to be taking a long trade. So what does that mean? That means that we are looking for an ABCD up or down. Are we looking for an up ABCD, an up move ABCD or a down move ABCD? Pause the video, work it out and see if you can identify the trade. Did you get it? Well, the ABCD is this one right here. We've got a down move ABCD because we want to be taking a long. Remember this is a strategy to trade. So where are we going to enter? We're going to be entering at the D point. And what about our stop? Well, we want our stop to be at a pivot low to the left. Did you find where we want to place it? Well, the one that is here, the red one, is just a bit too close to entry. And the green one just passes for it to have a decent amount of breath. And remember, the decent amount of breath uh, in order for price to breathe really depends on the time frame you're looking at. Obviously, if you're looking at a very, very short time frame, you, you don't want to be too close. Uh, if you're looking at a very large time frame, then even something as close as this uh, is fine. So our stop will be placed below this green pivot low. And what about moving a stop to break even? Well, we're going to be doing that at a one-to-one -one risk reward. So when price moves up the same amount that we initially put on risk, meaning the distance between the entry and the stop. So as we can see, that price is here, indicated by the red line. When price goes up that much, we are going to move our stop from here up to our entry price. And we are in a risk-free trade from that moment on. Meaning no matter what happens, we either come out at a profit or we come out without losing any money. What about exiting the trade? Now I want you to pause the video. I want you to trail using the method that we should be using and find out exactly where we would be exiting the trade. Did you get it? Well, we will be exiting here. Why? Well, if we look individually at each bar as they form, we see that after this green bar forms here, we get a low pivot. So we would move our stop from here up to here. Then as we carry on, we see that after this second green bar forms, we get this low, bar, low pivot here. We would move our stop from here up to here. Then we do not have a low pivot forming and we see that the red bar goes below where our stop would have been. And that is where we would exit. We would exit at a profit there. What about our risk reward? Now, as you can see on the chart, we've got our exits, our entries and our stops at various places within these dotted lines. Which means it's pretty difficult for you to work out an exact risk reward just on this chart. Obviously, when you're trading, you're going to be able to look at the exact prices of these lows. But here on the chart, we obviously can't see that. So let's just work it out visually. And the way to do that is by approximately looking at the boxes. How many boxes are we in reward? How many boxes are we in risk? Well, our entry to our stop is around about 70 to 80% of a box. And when I say box, I mean the distance between this line and the next line. So that will be one box there. So we're looking at around about 70 to 80% of a box. And in terms of our reward, we're looking at around about four and a half boxes so judging on that approximately we are looking at a six to one risk reward which isn't so bad that means for every dollar you risk you're making six dollars so i hope you got that right what i'm going to do now is go over another example we want to keep drilling this strategy to trade home for you and i want to make sure that you fully understand this strategy Please continue over to the next page and we'll go through another example now.